What muscle do you think produces the most amount of force during sprinting? The hamstrings, the glutes, maybe even the quads? No, in fact, it's none of those. It's actually the often forgotten about soleus muscle. Research shows us that the soleus can produce forces over eight times body weight during sprinting, making it the number one propulsive muscle yet. Athletes often completely neglect this muscle group. This video is on exactly what you can do to train the soleus properly as an athlete. Before we get started, we need to know what the soleus actually is. The soleus is a large and powerful muscle that sits underneath the gastroc or calf muscle. So it's not really too visible. And in order to properly train the soleus, we need to be training it with knee flexion. So your standard calf raise won't sufficiently activate the soleus muscle group. We need to be doing exercises with a bent knee. The best way to train a soleus is with a seated calf raise machine. If you're lucky enough to have one of those within your gym, use it as a lot of athletes end up reverting to the likes of a seated dumbbell calf raise. That's a really good exercise to introduce you to soleus training. But the problem is, it gets very easy quite quickly, as we know how incredibly strong the soleus is. So if you don't have a seated calf raise machine, you're finding the dumbbell seated calf raise too easy, and you don't have access to a Smith machine either, the landmine soleus raise is a fantastic alternative. By fixing the object against a wall or with an landmine attachment, you give it a degree of stability that allows you to really overload the movement pattern. So you can do these either unilaterally, like so, or bilaterally, and you can put a pad on your lap for this like so. And what we look to achieve with this exercise is if you decide to do them unilaterally, we want to see you having 80% of your body weight on the end of the barbell for 15 reps per side with nice controlled form. Or if you prefer the bilateral alternative, we want 160% of body weight on the bar for 15 reps. So how do you implement this into your training week? We recommend having one day dedicated towards soleus training. That is three to five sets of eight to 15 reps with one of the exercises we've shown and the other day dedicated towards more gastroc training. So not super high volume, but this is under the assumption that you're planning and regularly executing plyometric and sprint training within your routine that is the most important stimulus for the soleus itself. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more tips for contact and combat athletes, have a look for our previous videos and drop us a like. Thanks for watching.